All right, guys, we are out here with the 2024 Yamaha SRX. Now, Yamaha might get some flack and people might say, oh, it's the same sled as last year, blah, blah, blah. But let's be honest, this thing is absolutely incredible. And the refinements that they have done to this snowmobile are so top notch. I don't think this thing could be any more dialed in. If you're looking for a high mileage, high speed, durable, long lasting snowmobile, that's going to hold its value and absolutely annihilate any big, long, high mileage trail system. This is the unit for you. The gold and black color scheme really bringing back that retro look this year and God, does it look good on the snow. Um, they absolutely dialed in uh, the paint color here on the spindles, everything along those lines just came together so good. A little pop of red on the Yamaha logo up there. So let's dive into this walk around. Uh, with these walk around videos, we strive to give you guys just a little tour of these snowmobiles in case you're thinking of pulling the trigger and try to give you some up close shots that you might not necessarily see on all the marketing material from the OEMs right when they go to launch. So let's start things off up front. Ski package on the Yamahas when it's coupled with the power steering. Uh, and you can see they got the power steering badge here. This thing is absolutely incredible to ride. At, at low speeds, you can almost move the handlebars left and right with uh, with one finger. And really the uh, the stiffness or the, the, the assist, we'll say, of that power steering dials back the faster you're going to give the right response on the trails as well. They've really got it dialed in uh, and it's truly confidence inspiring and helps you uh, with your longevity throughout the day. You're really not that tired. You don't feel it in the shoulders. Now up to the Fox IQS package. This is the active package uh, that actively necessarily changes the suspension based on the trails and, and the inputs to uh, uh, the, all the different uh, shocks throughout the snowmobile here. So we've got it set to medium. Medium works incredibly well. Um, most guys are gonna spend all day in medium. If you really wanna take this sled in some rougher trail, if you come across an ungroomed surface, um, you can put it in hard, uh, but let's just say the four stroke isn't necessarily best friends with a rough trail. Really, if you find a groomed trail network, uh, this is gonna be probably the fastest weapon uh, through that network overall. Just taking you through the styling here uh, to give you an up close look at some of the graphics. We'll move things up to the hand guards. Really nice at keeping your hands warm, a nice gold spindle mount there. Um, and then if you move things up, great storage uh, that's been around the Sidewinder series for a long period of time. Uh, you can see the heat and the steam coming out of here. So it'll keep anything that you got in there thawed and from freezing. Uh, same gauge package as years past. You can see we've got the medium uh, suspension package set there for the active suspension um, and then different gauge adjustments overall, right? So you've got speed, we've got RPMs, odometer, fuel, you can do things like intake air temp, um, coolant temp, all that kind of stuff. So just some interesting customizability there, depending on what you want to see. And then if we move things off to the to the comfort creature comforts of the snowmobile, um, let's start up here, actually. The, uh, the left hand controls here, super clean, tight, tidy, not an eyesore at all. Very intuitive as to what buttons do what and really easy to, to manage the entire snowmobile from your left thumb without taking your hands off the bars. Now, the one control that's down here, one of our personal favorites, the heated seat. So if you're... Uh, Minus 25 degree morning. It's a great feature to have. We'll zoom out here a bit and give you some ergo views. So you can see the overtop view, very comfortable seat, great running boards. And out back, we've got some storage. So overall, great snowmobile. Would highly recommend as a trail, as a trail weapon for you. 